Welcome back to Washo Nevada for episode 27 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay, how are we going to start this episode? Well, I've got some manure to deliver. I've already done one load. This holds 52,000 litres. This bunker silo had something like 130,000 litres in it. Um, this one on this side is now picking up pace. We're getting more and more manure in there. Bearing in mind, I'm only using the manure at the moment for the two vineyards and the two greenhouses. So what I've got in here will more than cover that. So I thought what I'll do is up to the biogas plant. We've taken all the slurry, so now we're going to take the manure. So one load's gone. We think we've got one load, maybe, or maybe two loads left um, to put into this one. And then this will go to the biogas plant. Fields 15 and 16, I've got my cover crop in, my all seed radish. They are now ready to cultivate in, so we're going to be getting a large cultivator on this, uh, the um, Steiger. And we'll get those done. Plus, I'm in the middle of doing a contract on field 2 fertilising. So that pays out, I think, 28 grand. So I've got that going at the moment. I'll probably take another one of these, actually. Fantastic. Right. Don't know if it'll take. It should take a full one. I can't remember how much I put in it now. <laughs> Typically, you know what it's like. I don't have access to this land. Is that it? I assume that's full then. Righty ho, let's put that back in and we'll go and deliver this. So again, should be a nice little payout from the uh, biogas plant overnight. I've done, did I do two or three loads of slurry now? I can't remember. Let's have a look in here, shall we? We are at the moment looking at what's left. The milk's all gone from that one. Uh, 12,000 litres of slurry, 28,000 litres of manure left. That's good. Uh, that one we've got... 14,000 litres of slurry and 38,000 litres of manure. Milk 26. 26. Uh, yeah, so we haven't got quite enough for a full load of milk. Uh, haven't quite got enough for a full load of slurry. And the manure I need to do, I need to keep some on hand. But that's actually looking pretty good. I should have took that a little bit more, shouldn't I? Fantastic. Right. Let's get this delivered then. I'll decide what, I'm, what crop I'm going to put in um, fields 15 and 16. I can't remember what I decided in, on the last episode. Or it's probably one of my ones where I was wittering on and saying all the things I might do with it, but hadn't actually done anything with it. Right then, let's get this taken over. We'll go up and over the hill again. I should really put a road in here now, shouldn't I? The amount I use it. Well, this might struggle a little bit over here. Oh, that seems alright. Ish. Nice. Now one thing with the slurry and the manure up here, I always use the ramp, only because it's kind of, the ramp's there and it, you know, you, you should, shouldn't you really? Um, but you don't have to. You can use the, the bit in front, the hazard marked area. You can't with bales. The bales, I think, have to go into the digester. That's what I haven't tried. I never found that bale that rolled off. Someone said it went between the digester and the tanks behind. It didn't go behind, it rolled out in front, because I kind of followed it, didn't I? I put an arrow on it, but there it went. Yes, I mean, doing it like this, you can do it from here, but obviously that, you know, you're tipping onto the concrete technically. That's why I was using the other bit before. It's all good. Nice payout later on. And even more digestate, so... 
Right, so let's get this back. I will see you in a moment, then probably over at the store we'll lease a cultivator. Let's have a quick look, check on our contract. 36% complete on field two. Fantastic, right. Let's go. Right then, what should we go with? Now I do have the cultivator, I've got the case one, the smaller one, but oh, let's go big, let's go big, get it done before it gets dark. So, cultivators, could just go massive couldn't I? We go with the Bednar Swifter at 18.2 metres or 24 metres with the flexi coil. How much is it to lease the flexi coil? Whoa, nearly 10 grand. So that's the other thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with my kind of whole cover crop dilemma. Ah, let's do it. We'll make the money back when we do our fuel runs in the morning and fertilising and everything else. Oh, that's big. I'm assuming I'll be able to get that out of here. Should I be running jewels if I'm going to be doing this? Do I need to spread the load? Better traction, that kind of thing. It's going to cost me more money though, isn't it? Let's have a quick look. Maybe we could put some jewels in it. Customise. Let's have a look. I mean, that looks alright. That looks better. That looks even better. <laughs> How much is that going to cost me? 6500 That's actually not too bad, is it? Should we go with that? Then we're on to the... Oh, wait. Big A. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, I'm thinking of going down the road as well. Roads. Where we're going. We don't need roads. No, I'm joking. Sorry. Hey, right. So let's... Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why not? Oh... You can't do that with a quad track. Let's do this. I definitely need the beacons on. Now that was something interesting actually. Now this is a US spec, right? gone for the US spec version. Somebody messaged me and said where they are in the US why, well they said why can't we have more US spec versions because where they are in the US nobody has beacons, everyone runs hazard lights. Well this is a US spec and it's got, I'm going to have trouble here aren't I getting out, because yeah this has got a uh, beacon so I'm going to need a really long run at this in the road with no traffic after this one, let's get ready to go. Because I'm going to have to go right up the middle. Up the middle with smoke. Let's go. I've got to get through the <laughs> farm as well. Uh, yeah, no worries. I'm going to have to bulldoze a few buildings and stuff, but we'll get there. That is massive. When I think about doing Lipinki, which I'm kind of plodding along at, I'm just enjoying playing it and doing it whenever I feel like it. Um, the small machinery and small horsepower tractors and stuff I'm using on that, and then you go to this. Crazy. But the good thing is, and one thing I'm really pleased with myself about, is that I've worked up to this. I earned the money and I've been doing jobs and I've been doing contracts and I've been selling crops and that massive silage harvest. I've, I've gradually built up to this big stuff. I didn't start the let's play and say, right, I've got, you know, the biggest equipment you can get with everything, let's just get on with it. I, I have kind of worked my way up, so when you consider I had that first harvester was on loan, well, not loan, but a loan from the bank, I didn't even own it. Now that's paid off and we've got two. 
Oh, Beacon St. Goth, no, don't need those. I'll keep the door open, it's quite a warm evening. This will make the light work of the uh, cover crop. I know I've used this before on Let's Plays and various different things, but it just makes me smile. It is mahoosive. Right. Let's get on with this, shall we? Let's drop it down. And get her done. Just make sure I try and keep the edge of it along the edge as best I can. Actually, with this size, it's not going to take too long at all. I'm thinking about the cedar setup. I'm still considering that. I really do. I really, really like the John Deere 8350. I think it's a brilliant bit of kit and I love the versatility of it. My only concern is the fact that it is a bit of a pain if you're going to run a large setup that you can't just say, right, let's go and see the field. It's a lot of mucking around that cultivator should not be going over that rock like that. Well, it did it. Um, yeah, because I'm now thinking, right, this is done, I need to get these two fields seeded. But then I'm thinking, oh, I've got to set it all up. Mm. Oh, it's first world problems. It's not like in the real world, I'm not setting up a multi seeder setup on a real farm, I'm just doing it on the game, but it's like. Oh dear, never mind. I, mean, I do honestly find, unless you've got a map or a field that is pretty square or fairly flat and got loads of runoff and like the, like the big American maps have that and that's the thing about it using the very very big cedars I find them to be quite cumbersome and, and awkward to move around there's something to be said for a kind of mid-sized cedar I guess which I guess most unless you're running like thousands and thousands of acres most people will be running a fairly medium setup, I guess. I've been so busy watching this, I haven't been watching the top right hand corner to see whether or not that came up at all with contract complete. I probably did and I missed it. Oh dear. Never mind. What's the worst that's going to happen? It'll finish the field and I'll use a little bit of extra fertiliser that I didn't want to use. But Actually, if I'm looking, top right hand corner, the uh, the money is still dropping, which means that I've still got a worker hired, which logic would dictate means it's still doing a job. Or I could just go and check here, couldn't I? Well, there you go, that's nearly one complete lap of the field. A few more to go. Then over to field 15, we'll get that one done too. See you in a minute when I'm over on field 15, I guess. 
unless you fancy a whole episode we'll just do just do this just do cultivating for half hour or so Okay, field 16 is done. Field 15 is to do. Obviously, field 16 now just needs seeding. Um, <coughs> contracts. Field 2 is done. Oh, field field 1's come up. Right, collect on that. Field 1 fertilising, 46 grand. Absolutely. Even if I have to spend 7.5 grand putting a load of seed in. A uh, seed. Fertiliser. That's a nice payout. We're we'll up to 853. Right, uh, let's drop that down. I do have access to this land, it's my field. I'm doing this strip this way because there's that little rocky outcrop just there. And some of the vehicles don't like it, they kind of hesitate and turn around too early or they go down it and get stuck and it just makes more sense doing it this way. I still haven't decided about the cedar situation. I still haven't decided what cedar I'm going to put in, in the ground. I was thinking with my newfound wealth, maybe in the morning, there, there's that grass strip where that one, I couldn't get that one cedar to go onto uh, cover crop. But it will still cultivate in, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I was thinking maybe investing in a cotton harvester but then to be honest how often would I do cotton as a unless I was just going to do cotton from now on and nothing else which I suppose I could do but it gets a bit boring to watch doesn't it but I suppose that's the difference isn't it between um, doing this for yourself if you're playing at home and you decide you're going to run a you know whatever farm you're going to run you might decide all you're going to do is soybean. You're going to be a soybean farmer. Or you might do soybean and something else, wheat. Or you, know. or you might decide, you know what? Cotton farming. That's all we're going to do. Just cotton. You know, fields and fields and fields of stuff. Then it's well worth investing. But when I'm putting up videos, if all I was doing every single episode was cotton harvesting, that would get a bit boring to watch. So the problem is, do you invest in buying one the downside is if you lease one, the hourly rates are an absolute killer, they really are. Swing that around, actually, I need to slow it down a little bit. It tends to run away a little bit. Drop that back down. Even with 600 and something, was it 696, 692 horsepower this has got now? Still only pulling at 6. Mind you, it's a, it's a big old cultivator to be fair. Right, I suppose what I'd better do is get a worker going on this. And get my fertiliser over to uh, field 1 I guess. I might need to fill that up on the way but... Get that going. And while I'm doing that... Have a serious think about the seed situation.
went for four. Why not? It's ten grand, but it's a load of fertilizer. That will more than do field one. That's weird. I wonder why that pallet still sat there. There's nothing on it. Okay. So, the continuing debate and dilemma about uh, let's go this way about the seeding situation. I've got the 12 meter YP4025, which does all crops and is direct drill. So it saves you all that time and hassle of having to worry about ploughing or cultivating a field before you seed it. It's also that little bit of a dodgy that because it's technically a planter it shouldn't do the seed like grain crops and cereal crops um, the YP2425 which is the 18 meter version does the same thing but it doesn't direct drill now I could do it how it's supposed to be done and have a separate seeder and planter generally speaking the seeders more often than not will direct drill but the planters won't so regardless what option I go with, even if I decide to go with the larger YP2425, I'm going to need to cultivate. So, which kinds of ads, ads to step in, but that's what should be done. I know loads of people do the whole, oh, there's no need, no way bother, just by a direct drill. But when you've got big fields and you are scaling up everything you've got, now I've got the Steiger. That's my point, is that at the moment we've got this. The YP4025, which is 12 meter, and it direct drills. If I go up for the 2425A, which is an 18.2 meter, which makes perfect sense, does all the crops, so I don't have to have a separate seeder and planter, but it doesn't direct drill, so I'll need to cultivate. Or I go down the route of maybe buying a Maestro, could do, the SW2475, which is an 18 meter planter which also doesn't direct drill and then going for a big old cedar I'll say a big old cedar maybe the terminator the trouble is again it gets so expensive if I go for the Sea Talk XL and the air cart that goes with it looking at what's that 300 475 grand just for the cedars or the Hats and Bickler combo, which puts me in at about 310. Mm. And that's why, unfortunately, vehicles like that and the YP2425, once that got changed to do all crops, that becomes a kind of default, you go to that all the time because it makes sense. But then you never use anything else, so... Hmm. Oh, I meant to go up the field. Oh, sorry. right. I'll carry on now, anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. Or I'll just carry on with the John Deere's I've got, which do... Yeah. Hmm. And just use the YP4025 as a planter. I would say, what do you guys think? Put it in the comments, but I know everyone will say everyone, not everyone. Most people say, go big, get the massive, you know, get the Sea Talk XL.
Okay, like it or loathe it, it is working. I'm doing canola, I've done field 16, I'm now doing field 15. I've done an edge all around the side. And now it should it should turn and work okay. If it misses any bits, I'll just come back and do those with one of the cedars at the end. Um, contract is complete on field 1, so we'll collect that. Okay, not sure I know where that's going. What well, is actually easier is if you come off the worker. If you go around to the left, they all kind of follow around in a nice big arc. If you go around to the right, they bunch up a little bit. But, but you do need a lot of space. Um, so what I'm going to do now is finish off seeding this. I'm going to go down, check on the animals, make sure the feed areas are clear and that kind of stuff. Um... And I'll probably, what time's it now, 25 to 7, probably see you in the morning. Because there's no other jobs I can do now. I haven't got enough slurry or milk or anything like that to deliver. We should get a fairly nice payout at midnight from the slurry and manure we've delivered over the course of the day to the biogas plant. There'll be the fuel runs and water runs in the morning. I'm anticipating being up around 1.2 million-ish, something like that maybe. The next time I see you, fingers crossed. Uh, these will be seeded and then it's time to make a few decisions as to what I'm going to do next where do we push next do I get more cows and another yeah do I get another pasture I don't know anyway I'll see you in the morning well we did a right overnight just over 300, was it 306,000 for everything that went to the biogas plant? Uh, fuel runs, water runs done, we're up to 1,356,903, so a little bit more than I thought we were going to be on, which is great. I've hooked up the Wilson setup that I kind of prepared the other day. That one will hold 60, that will hold 30, that will hold 30, so 120,000 litres in total. The wheat harvest has begun over on field 11, then we'll move to 11A. I will be collecting the straw swath. As far as the animals go, we are looking at, uh, how are we looking, 18,000 litres of milk, 10,000 litres of slurry, 46,000 litres of manure, plus we're two over what I was going to set my minimum at, 45, no, my minimum, my maximum. Um, so we can take eight out of there. Then on this one, we're up to 44,000 litres of milk. 44,000 litres of slurry and 59,000 litres of manure. So we've got enough for some slurry runs, so a manure run and milk too at some point. Plus we're one over my maximum that I was kind of allowing in my head on there. So it's another four there. So I can move 12, either sell them or move them. I think, I think I'm going to get the construction team in and we're going to build another pasture. I think. Let's go for it. I, was, I said I was gonna, it was going to be a cattle farm, cattle ranch, whatever you want to call it. Let's go for it. This, I'm going to take over the hill. No, actually, as I'm driving off with this now, I'm thinking I was going to get... I was thinking about getting an, uh, an auger wagon, chase a bin. That's on the table too. I've got enough money to do it all. This is the wheat field that needs to be done next. That's 11A. We should get plenty of straw off this too. Both harvesters have stopped because they're full. Now I don't need to be taking this whole rig onto the field, to be fair, but and I shouldn't be taking the whole rig onto the field, to be fair. 
because in the real world, unless the ground was incredibly hard, it would get bogged down and, you know, so this should be by the side of the field. So maybe I'll do that next, will be an auger wagon then. So, and I'm hoping I'll fill more than 60,000 litres to justify having the third one. When I do one of those crop, uh, if I do a single crop type on all my fields, I will definitely go above 60,000. That's why I went for this option to have all of these trailers hooked together. Um, that said, with the um, update to the new I or the idea liner, the idea liner 133, with the 79,000 litre capacity, that's pretty good in its own right. That's what we're doing to do. Let's get him going. Cool. Should be plenty of straw. Just bump that over. I'm sure no one will mind. Right, so let's fill that one up. Yeah, we did alright overnight. I'm quite pleased with that. So change to that trailer and open the cover on that too. I'm going back to that one because this will be full in a second. Let's close that one. Move on to that one. Turn the engine off and let's get this ready to go again. Fantastic, right. Off we go. Right. Won't be much longer and this will be done. I was just thinking actually, uh, no, I was thinking shall I buy another lorry but I can only drive one at a time and you can't hire a worker on a lorry so, or truck sorry. Not a lot of point. What I will need to do is grab the milling machine, tractor, trailer, and we can start collecting some of this up. I've got a few jobs to do now off screen, haven't I? I'm just thinking this will need to be completed, all the straw needs to be taken off. I'm pretty sure this field's going to need liming just to annoy me. Soil composition. Yep, that's going to need lime. Fair enough, we'll get on to that. 16 and 15 were both done last night. They both got canola in and they are on their next grow stage. Slightly darker. Field 5 has got grass in, we know that already because we did that the other day. Hmm, right, okay. I'm still eyeing up field 10, you know. Hmm. Potentially. Right, uh, what should I do now? Right, I'm going to go and get a tractor. Tractor, trailer and milling machine so I can start collecting the straw. Leave those two harvesters going. Right, with the Stroutman Aperion in tow, the milling machine in the front, the John Deere. Field 11 has been cleared. Field 11A is being cleared at the moment. I think both harvesters are full and I think I'm probably going to get an auger wagon, but what I'm going to start off doing is clearing some of this. I'll start on the far side and work my way back. I mean, it's a, it's a twisted logic, it makes no sense, it's all got to be cleared. Just mentally, as you get closer towards the farm, you haven't got as far to go, but you have, because you've already done it at the start, so it really... It really does come down to a strange psychological twist. Let's drop that down. Why is that not dropping down? Because I'm in the front. That's better. And away we go. I don't know why that's flickering like that. At the end of the day, we'll make money on the wheat. 
not as much wood as on a soybean crop or something like that um, but the byproduct then is the straw I could have done a soybean crop earned the money and then bought the straw so it, again there are so many different ways of doing it I just thought I'd do it this way but anyway I've got all this to clear this field needs to be limed I've got equipment to buy and I've got a cow pasture to build so I will probably see you in the next one hope you enjoyed <coughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching